Hello worthy people. I'm really excited to announce this Canvas series course on YouTube. So in this course, we are going to learn how to build charts, graphs and doing Canvas animations from scratch. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. But before we start this course, it will be really amazing if you know a little bit of JavaScript already, because in this we are directly starting from Canvas. So before starting, learn a little bit of JavaScript. And if you know, then we are ready to dive straight in. So let's start. Okay, so let's get started. So first question is, what exactly is Canvas? So if you can see this official documentation, Canvas is nothing but an HTML element which can be used to draw graphics via scripting that is usually JavaScript. So it says that it's nothing but an HTML element which creates an area on the web page in which you can draw graphics. When I say graphics, that means you can use it to draw graphs and charts like this. So let me just remove this. And yep graphs and charts like this you can use to create games 2d games like this even your famous dino run game is made in canvas and these are very small games but you can also do much more things than this but you might have seen graphs and charts literally everywhere so all of that is mostly done in canvas but nowadays we have a lot of libraries that help you to make them easily but what we are going to be learning in this series is from scratch how to use canvas to make your charts and different kind of charts okay so enough about theory. Now we know it's nothing but an HTML element which gives an area on the web page where we can draw graphics like lines, circles. And by combining all of that, we can make beautiful charts. We can make 2D games and animations. OK, so enough about the theory. Let's directly dive into the practicals. So for that, let's close the browser. And here we go. In my VS code, I already have a new folder called as chart series. Nothing else is done. So let's start from scratch. So in this case, I'm going to be creating a simple HTML file and then one JS file. So index.js. OK, so now, first of all, let's prepare the HTML. I don't need these meta tags right now, so let me remove it. And I'll zoom it a little. And here we go. I'll just write canvas basics. Because in this video, we, we are only going to be covering all the basics of Canvas. And in the next one, we'll see how to start drawing a chart by using all that. And also, let's link the script file. So src equals dot slash rjs file. Now, the first thing that you have to do is you have to create a Canvas element. Because without Canvas element, you cannot draw any graphics. So Canvas give it a height never give a canvas height width using css always use the attribute that's the best approach so let's give it a height of 500 pixel for now and a width of 1000 pixel and let's also give it an id so that we can easily access it using javascript so let's say i just call it canvas you can also call it anything now a little styling so that we can at least see this canvas. So we'll just give a border to it. That's all. So hash canvas, that's the idea I have given. A border of one pixel solid black. That's it. Now let's see, let's run this page. Now if you want, you can also use a live server in this case, but I'm simply using our normal technique. So let me open Chrome and here we go. So as you can see now, we have a simple box, but this is not a div. This is not a P tag. If you right click on this, you can see you get a save image as option. That means browser is actually treating your canvas element like an image because that's what it is. It's just a graphic. It is not a div. It's not a P tag. Okay. So yep, that's what a canvas element is. Now then let's get started. Now to draw anything inside this canvas area, we have to use JavaScript. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing is let's go to the JS page. And the first thing we'll do is we'll fetch that element. So let canvas equals document dot get element by ID canvas. That's basically my ID. This canvas is nothing but my ID. Now you have got the canvas element in JavaScript, but if you want to draw anything inside this area, you have to get the context of the canvas. So now what exactly is context? Think of context like an object that Canvas gives you so that you can draw something on it. Think of context like a pencil. So that context object is nothing but a pencil that you're going to be using to draw anything on it using JavaScript. That's what a context object is. 
So how to create that? So let, you can call it anything. So I'm going to be calling it CTX equals your canvas that you have fetched the canvas element dot get context 2D. So you get the 2D context. So now in this case, the CTX is nothing but a 2D pencil, which will help you to draw graphics on the canvas. And that's it. That's the first basic step. Now after this, before we start anything, we have to understand how to draw everything on this page, the basics of how to draw on anything on this area. First thing you have to understand is canvas always works based on the coordinates. You have to master coordinates if you want to do anything on the canvas. So let me also move it a little bit here. So I'll just give it a margin of 100 pixel. Okay. So this is nothing but this is always anything that you want to create inside it is always done via coordinates. So now Consider it like this. This is the place where X is zero and Y is zero. Now this is the, now what is the width of the canvas? The width of the canvas is thousand pixels. So this is the place. Now, if you like, if this was zero, zero, if at this place X was zero and Y was zero. Now, if I come here, you have basically moved on X axis. You know that horizontal is always X axis. So if I have moved that much and here your X value becomes thousand. And why still zero? Because you have not moved on Y. You have only moved on horizontal axis. Now, if you come down, now you have also moved on Y axis. So now what is the height of the canvas? It was 500 pixel. So basically you have moved 500 units or you can just say pixels. So now Y becomes 500 and X also becomes thousand because X is only zero here. And here X is zero and Y is 500. And anything inside it lies between all these coordinates, lies among all these coordinates. So zero, zero, 1000, 0, 1500, and 0, 500. That's it. And anything in between. So if I let's say x100, y100, so that will be somewhere here. If I let's say x500, so it will be here. And y500, so I'll be here because x is 500 and y is also 500. Because if I come here, x becomes 1000. So now anything that you're going to do, you have to just track down the coordinates. And once you understand coordinates, Canvas is the easiest thing you will ever learn. So that's it guys. Now then let's go ahead and let's start doing stuff. Now, once you get this pencil, so let me get back to the mouse. Yep. Once you, okay, come on. I think it's, yep. Now it's fine. So once you get this pencil, that is your CTX, you get two very, very important functions. Okay. I'll explain them one by one. The first function that you get is move to. And one more function that you get is line to. These two are one of the most important functions if you want to work with lines. Okay, move to and line to. What exactly is move to and line to? So think of this pencil as your CTX, as your context object. So when you say move to, it will simply move around the canvas, doing nothing, just moving. You tell it, you tell the pencil, okay, pencil, please go to zero, zero. It will go here. You tell the pencil, please go to 1500. It will come here. So it's just movement. Now, if you tell this pencil, okay, pencil, please go to 100, 100. It will come here and stay. That's it. That's what move to is. Do nothing but just move in air. Now, the line to function is a little different. Line to function moves the pencil, but by drawing something. So let's say you tell the pencil move to 100, 100. So it comes here at 100, 100. But from there, you tell the pencil, okay, fine. Now draw till 200, 200. You are at 100, 100. Now from there, draw till x200 y200 so it is somewhere here so from here it will draw and now pencil will be here so move to and line to both move the pencil but move to moves freely in the air when line to moves it draws a line so whenever you say line to it will draw a line to some coordinate and when you say move to it will simply go there and from there again line to from there again move to like that so move to line to that's how it's going to work simple now let's get back let's see it practically so let's remove this and first of all, let me say CTX dot move to X hundred Y hundred. And guys, don't forget, it's going to be a comma. That's it. Now, after this code, you can think that, okay, fine. Now your pencil is somewhere here. Your context is somewhere here. Now from there, let's try CTX dot line two. And in that case, let's say go to 200 comma 200. So from hundred. After move to, you will be at 100, 100. From there, I want you to draw a line till 200, 200. And after this code, 
yeah, you'll not see anything after this code. You can see that because once you draw a line to make the line visible, you have to make sure that you write CTX dot stroke. It's very important. And now after this, you can see a simple black line drawn from 100, 100 till 200, 200. So that's how it works. And now if you want, you can continue from there. You draw a line till there. Now from there, you can again draw a line to some other place. Like for example, 500 on X and 100 on Y. So it will go from there. See now from there, you can again move to it, move it to somewhere. So now it will just move. It will not draw a line. So if I say move to, let's say on X, it moves uh, to 600 and Y, it moves to 300. So you'll see nothing changes, but your pencil might be somewhere here now because it has moved. And from there, if you draw a line, so CTX dot line to, if I say, let's say 800 on X and 400 on Y. So from wherever it is, it will draw a line. So first by default, it's here moves here, right? First move to executes. It moves here. Then from there line to this line to this, and then from there move to this. So it comes here. And from there again, line to this. So that's how you draw lines in canvas using the line to function. And if you want to perform a movement, you have move to. So that's basic. Now let's also see how to draw text. So if what if you want to write some text on your area, because when you create graphs or charts, you also want to write text. So how to do that? Let's see. So in that case, again, guys, it's very simple. Let me just cut all this down. Let's just comment this. And for that, you have a simple function called as fill text in which you first write your text. So let me just put like Thora and then your X and Y coordinate. So in this case, we can just go ahead and give, let's say hundred comma hundred. If you see, here we go. You can see a small Thora text, but it's very small. What if you want to increase the font size? So very simple. Just before this fill text, you have option of CTX dot font in which you can pass. What is the size you want? 20 pixel and you can also mention the font family so I can mention Calibri like this. And now if you see, here we go, you can increase it. So that's how it's going to work. And also let me do one more thing. Let me also show you how to change the line color if you want. So it's very simple guys. So before drawing a line, you can just say CTX dot stroke style equals let's say red and that's it. You'll see all the lines that you have drawn, they become red. But once you mention stroke style for all the lines that you will draw from there, they will be red. If you want to change it, you have to override it. You have to go before any other line and you have to override it to something else. So I can say blue here like this and you can say, oh no, everything is becoming blue. It's because of the path issue. So don't worry in the next video, I'll be covering how path works in Java in canvas. So in that case, we can see that no issues about that right now. I'll sh show you how to override this stuff. And before I end this video, I would also like to show you one more thing. That is how to increase the width of this line, how to increase the boldness. So for that, you simply have line width. So line width, and you can pass anything like, let's say five, and it can be a number. So five is fine. And now you'll see your line width has increased. So that's how you can increase the width of the line. Okay. So now in the next video, we'll see how to create a circle in it and also how to create rectangles. And we'll also talk about paths. And then after that, we can move ahead with the chart system. We'll see how to use all the things that we have learned to create charts. So thank you so much for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next particular video and please like and subscribe the channel if you're enjoying the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.